This is The Scoop for Wednesday. I'm Megan Bowman with the WMNF News Headlines. The League of Women Voters of the St. Petersburg area is making it easier for returning citizens to register to vote. Mary Ellen Gordon is the Voter Services Co-Chair for the nonpartisan organization. She says a mission for the group is working with former felons on whether they can register to vote and connecting them to legal services. The State League has a team of attorneys who work on people's cases for free. One of the attorneys told us recently that she researched a man who had not voted for 26 years because he thought he owed fees and fines, but he didn't know how to find out. He didn't have the money to hire a lawyer and he only owed seven dollars and he hadn't voted in all of those years because of that amount of money. Gordon says the attorneys find out if people owe fees, fines or restitution. And even though the league doesn't guarantee cases will be figured out by the upcoming election, Gordon says it's never too late to get the process started. Even if they don't make it for this election, this election cycle, you know, there will be a lot more elections. Gordon says an individual's assigned attorney will also work on sentence modification if possible. To get more information about the league's legal services, visit WMNF.org. The Hillsborough County Supervisor of Elections race is heating up. WMNF's Chris Young reports first-time political candidate Billy Christensen is challenging Democratic incumbent Craig Latimer, who's held the position since 2012. Billy Christensen is a Republican running against Craig Latimer. He said he was inspired to run after his wife was affected by a massive voter data breach last year. Christensen said he didn't get any answers from Latimer. After this cyber hack, again, I had my concerns. We asked questions. His response fueled those concerns. I was concerned enough to get involved, to come off the bench, so to speak, and and get involved. A data breach at Hillsborough Supervisor of Elections Office exposed private information belonging to nearly 60,000 voters. It included Social Security and driver's license numbers. But Latimer says his office was completely transparent. As soon as this happened, we made a press release, notified the public. I've done updates to that. This is an active criminal investigation by the FBI. I'm not going to do anything to interfere with a criminal investigation by a federal agency. Both candidates were asked if they felt the last presidential election was fair and accurate. Christensen refused to answer, calling the question, quote, divisive. What we need to focus on on the issue that we can factually identify in our office right here in Hillsborough County, get those fixed so that at least locally we have fair and honest elections. However, Latimer says the elections were completely accurate and that Christensen's statements are absurd. And it's election deniers like that that keep eroding the confidence of the voters and not only this community, but our country. Christensen and Latimer will be on the ballot in November. Chris Young, WMNF News. An appeals court says it will hear arguments in September over a dispute over whether state lawmakers should be shielded from testifying in lawsuits. The issue stems from a voting rights group that attempted to take depositions from lawmakers and legislative staff in a lawsuit challenging the constitutionality of a redistricting plan. The voting group argues the issue is moot because they decided to stop seeking depositions. But attorneys for state, House and Senate says the appeal appeal is of great public importance and adds the concept of legislative privilege shields them from having to testify in civil lawsuits. A USF student group has been permanently expelled from all campuses. Student conduct and ethical development officials at the university found the Tampa Bay Students for a Democratic Society violated the student code of conduct. The expulsion is the result of a protest at the end of April on the Tampa campus that resulted in multiple arrests and the tear gassing of students and participants. USF found the group responsible for five violations including disruptive conduct, failure to comply, and the illegal possession of weapons, firearms, or explosive devices. During April's demonstrations, students brought small wooden squares and umbrellas to use as shields while they formed a circle around a small encampment. For your weather, Partly cloudy skies today with isolated thunderstorms this afternoon. Your high is 92, and tonight expect some clouds with an overnight low near 77. I'm Megan Bowman with the WMNF News Headlines. This is The Scoop, recorded at WMNF Tampa.